So you might be trying to figure out how you can use gestures on your Samsung Galaxy. Now, what does this mean? Well, essentially, maybe you're trying to figure out how you can use the gestures bar at the bottom instead of using your nav bar buttons. So if that's what you mean, you can go and make your way over to your settings application just like this. You can then scroll over to display, which is right here. And what you want to do here is you want to scroll down until you see something that basically says along the lines of navigation bar. So that is basically what you want to click on. And here is where you can go and shift it from using your buttons like that to your swipe gestures like this. And that's basically all you have to do. So if you want to use your buttons, you can use your buttons like this. If you want to use your swipe gestures, you can use your swipe gestures like that. And that is the very first thing you want to do. And you can always click on more options and you can customize a lot more things down here too. So if you're not too comfortable with using your nav bar buttons, you can always use you know, your gestures and customize them a little bit further here too, which is really awesome. Now, the next thing you want to do for the most part is basically getting used to the gestures. So for one, if you're ever in an application and you want to go home, you basically just swipe up from the bottom and you will basically go home. So basically, instead of clicking the button, you will swipe up and that is how you go home. Very, very basic. It's not anything crazy. Now, if you want to get in between applications, let's say you open up your phone application, you go back home and you want to go back into your messages application. But let's say you want to go back into your phone call. We have a few different ways. One, you can click out of it, you can scroll out of it and go back to your phone call. Or if you already have it open in the background, you can swipe in between your applications like this. So that's another really cool thing that you have the ability of doing. So you can swipe between two applications or all your applications in your most recents, and that's all you have to do. Now let's say you wanna close out of an application. You don't want this app to be open anymore. Well, instead of swiping back home, what you can do is you can basically swipe to the side of an application like this to bring up your recents panel. Now here you can go ahead and you know open things up and split screen multitasking and all that stuff, which I have tons of videos on. But if you wanna close out of all your specific windows, you can click the close all button right there and it will close out of all the windows that you have open. So that's another really cool thing. Now inside of certain applications, like the Play Store for example, you can swipe through stuff and you can open up an application like this. But if you look, there's a back button, but sometimes there may not be a back button. So if you wanna go back to the previous window, you can basically grab the edge of the side like this, the edge of the phone, and you can basically go back to the previous page. And when you do that, you might even see a little arrow actually pop up as well. So if you look closely, you'll see a little arrow, and all you have to do is let go, and that will basically bring you to the you know front page now. You can also move forward as well. Now I guess in this one it doesn't work, but essentially you do have that situation too where you can go and mess with around with it too here. So those are pretty much the main gestures you kind of need to know about within your Samsung Galaxy. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything, also love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.